Hi, good evening. Welcome to the exhibition Futures Rising at the Leonor R. Fuller Gallery here at the Kenneth J. Menart Center for the Arts at South Puget Sound Community College. My name is Sean Barnes. Uh, I'm the gallery director, coordinator. Um, before I introduce our artists, I'd like to acknowledge that South Puget Sound Community College sits on the traditional lands of the Medicine Creek Treaty Tribes, which includes Squaxin Island and Nisqually Indian Tribe. The 1854 treaty ceding these lands is still in dispute. All who are not Salish peoples are visitors here. With this awareness, we pay respect to elders past and present of the Medicine Creek Treaty Tribes and all native peoples. Futures Rising is a celebration of black artists uh, from the Olympia community, curated by Teresa Mamati Yost. And uh, this is the third installment this evening of artist talks and performances uh, being live streamed from the gallery for this event. Uh, our next live stream will be November 19th, um, and that will be uh, presenting live drumming performance from ethnomusicologist Javon Bird. So stay tuned for that. Tonight, I'm happy to have in the Leo Gallery Futures Rising artist Travis, uh, Travis Johnson and his sister Alelia, Alelia Johnson. Thank you. Um, Travis Johnson has spent the last dec three decades developing his craft as a creative and uses his art to explore the human experience by touching on the whimsical, silly, serious, and sometimes painful side of life. He uses the subtle nuances of classic Western world iconography to tell a highly illustrated and visually rich narrative. Alilia Johnson is a multidimensional visual artist and singer, songwriter, who brings her growth in her self-love journey and life path to the center of her creations. She explores themes such as black queer love, the preciousness of black girls, self-love, self-care, transmuting trauma, and living with mental health challenges. So if you would all welcome Travis and Alilia. I want to invite everybody to just be in their bodies and um, as we fill this through, this is a physical and uh, emotional labor that we have been doing for many years and feel called to do. And I'm so grateful that I could get my baby sister here <laughs> all the way from Southern California. So thank you. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, yeah. It's, been, it's been very powerful, very powerful. So whatever feels familiar or, you know, whatever comes out, we'll, we'll go with it. You know, and if you, if you want me to do something, I'll do it. Okay. So funny how the energy changes as soon as you're like, oh, it's now, it's on. <laughs> I was fine like five minutes ago. <laughs> Pay ain't under Blood and chocolate Rain on my window, window. Rain on my window, window. I have never, never I have never I said, I've been working, 
working on my mind. I said I've been praying, praying all night long. I said I've been praying, praying all night long. I said I've been praying, praying for you to make it. I said I've been praying, praying for you to make it. I said I've been working, working on my mind. I said, I've been working, working on my heart. Just a little while longer. Mm. Hold on. Just a little, little while, while longer. longer. Hold, on. Hold on. Just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Pray on. Just a little while longer, won't yeah. you pray on? Keep on praying. Just a little while longer, won't you pray on? Pray. Just a little while longer, yeah. Everything will be alright. I said. March on, march on, march on. Just a little, little while longer, won't you march, march, on. march on, march on, Just a little while longer, won't you march on, march on, march on. Just a little while longer, yeah. Everything is gonna be alright. Won't you fight on? Fight a fight on Just a little while longer Won't you fight on Fight a fight on Just a little while longer Won't you fight on Fight a fight on Just a little while longer yeah. Everything will be alright I say Preach on, preach a preach on, just a little while longer. Won't you preach 
on. Preach it, preach on. Just a little while longer. Won't you preach on? Preach it, preach on. Just a little while longer. Everything will be I woke up this morning and I didn't feel the pain. My body was whole again and the demons were slain. Cause somebody was praying. On the praying stone On again. The praying, praying stone. I said 50 years on the praying stone. Knees are old and my back is worn, but the battle is won on the praying stone. Praying <coughs> stone, praying stone. stone. Said 50 years on the praying stone. Knees are old and my back is worn, but the battle is won on the praying stone. Praying stone, praying stone. Said 50 years on the praying stone. 50 years on the praying stone. Said 50 years on the praying stone. My knees are old and my back is worn. But the battle is won on, on the praying stone. Praying stone, on the praying stone. It said 50 years on the praying stone. My knees are on and my back is won. But the battle is won on the praying stone. The battle is won on the praying stone. It said 50 years on the praying stone. 50 years on the praying stone. It said 50 years on the praying stone. 50 years on the praying stone. Said 50 years on the praying stone. Battle is won and my knees are on. But 50 years on the praying stone. 50 years on the praying stone. Said 50 years on the praying stone. 50 years on the praying stone. Said 50 years on the praying stone. Knees are old and my back is worn. They shot her mother. They shot her brother. But she found a way. I said they shot her mother. And they shot her brother. But she found a way to say, I am blessed. She found a way to say, I am blessed. I am want to try something maybe with uh, oh go ahead go 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 daddy 
Daddy walked a hundred miles to make sure we could eat. And I ran down those country roads as fast as, as I, I could be. be. Now I've dum, come dum, home dum, and dum, Daddy's dum, gone. Daddy rest in, in peace.
What's that? Do you have anything? It's probably improv. Bang, gang, gong, bong, be, de, be, don't, bong, be, bong, be, oh, bang, 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 at the end after questions maybe as a closing okay a washing okay. but if you have something like you want to do then before that that's fine what do you think about pillow yeah let's do that okay. it'd be good to get another shot on that <laughs> Lay your head on my pillow, pillow, pillow. Lay your head on my 
pillow, pillow, pillow. Lay your heart on my soul. Lay your head on my pillow. to welcome everyone uh, online and we have a few folks that were able to make it in the gallery space. Uh, I am so grateful for this season, this space and Mama T. Mama T really um, playing the role of an elder and really getting all these artists in the future is rising, all these artists together. and. I recognized it with our first Zoom call, how she organically in this community as an elder and brought artists together, black artists together that didn't know each other and were not aware of each other's work, but we became aware of each other's work and became aware of each other. And that is the role of an elder. That's a very powerful, powerful um, thing to do and, and space to hold in the community. Um, and so when I got signed up for an artist talk. I forgot that I said that I would do a performance too. So I 
said, oh, and Sean said, okay, you're going to do a performance too. I was like, okay, yeah, I forgot I said that. I committed to that. So <laughs> then I was like, well, naturally, I got to bring my little sister up. Naturally. You know, and I think you guys can see why. Uh, and I wanted, and she had a bunch of songs that she's been working on, and you've been working on these for quite some time. It's been a few years. Yeah, they're, they're just coming along, you know. Yeah. Like they come into my life, and I yeah. nurture them. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and and I, I've been able to kind of join you on some and find parts and mm -hmm. write stuff. A lot of this tonight was really written on the spot, and we've been, they, they change each time we sing them, and that's what we like. We like that type of organic feel. Evolution. Yeah, evolution. Evolution is healthy, y'all. Yes, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so this right here is, is an extreme joy for me to sit amongst a little, a little slice of my art. Um, I'm still getting to know these sculptures. Um, and then these paintings here, um, Breathing While Black and The Complicated Future. And I was writing down a, I, don't, I may need to read it. I wrote down earlier just a, just a phrase, and, and my handwriting is sloppy, so who knows if I'll actually be able to read it once I find it. But just some things to think about when Breathing While Black and has never been safe. Where does your spirit get to rest? Where does your spirit get to stop? Um, and that's, I think of the shark, and this is a cartoon shark, but the shark never stops moving. And I think of just black folks, us, family, friends. I'm 41 years old and I feel like I'm 75 in my spirit. And I just think about when do we get to rest? When do we get to stop moving? And just how the I think about how the spirit has held us and how the spirit holds us and how we hold each other and how a lot of times we can just look at each other and, and know what's going on and we don't have to um, really say much. Um, so I was kind of interested in maybe a conversation with your thoughts on seeing this and I know you haven't had a lot of time to process <laughs> it, but the, just some of the things that come up, and then I want to give you a pre, this kind of, I think of Aunt Juanita, I think of Alyssa Mothershed, I think of all of the elders, these two, mm -hmm. that have passed and that have been in our life and held space in our life, and you don't have to speak to that, but mm -hmm. that's just what I was thinking as I was putting these things together, and they're having a conversation with the paintings. The paintings are more personal, mm -hmm. kind of more self-centered, if mm -hmm. you will, or self-centric. Mm -hmm. That's a nicer way to say it. Yeah. Um, and then the children over here. This is Brit. That's how that is. <laughs> <laughs> Just been living her best life. Yes. 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 Um, I can say about Breathing While Black, I didn't see it fully until I got here. You know, I'd seen your images of it, but I didn't really get to see it until a little bit ago. And breathing, like, when well, you're talking about how it's never safe, because that's my, what yeah, I heard. Yeah. I heard that it's, it's never been safe to be breathing in black um, in, in America for the people we know, the people we've met, you know. Yeah. Uh, the people we've come from, and that lives in our DNA. And and if you consider, like, you know, evolutionarily speaking, that we all come from uh, the ocean. You know, we, yeah. we all, life was born and, and crawled up out of there, and so we have this connection to the shark. We're seen as as Come on. as predators, you know, where um, especially black men are seen as predators, although you're just trying to live your life. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so the shark imagery I find very interesting, evolutionarily speaking, and just metaphorically speaking, like there's this instant fear uh, to just see you. Mm -hmm when you're breathing in black in the wild out there. Yeah. Um, that's, that's, that's perfect right there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's just so, so many yeah. layers to it. Yeah. But yeah. I also like how 
the rhythm of the black bars across the shark's body Mm -hmm. and the man inside sort of this trapped cage Mm. or you know the the narrative of of the school to prison pipeline for black men Mm -hmm. so prevalent in our country so I, i see a lot of a lot of stuff in there there's a, right on the left where the tail of the shark is, there's a full-on person there. Mm-hmm. And that's the black woman, and nobody mm-hmm. has even picked up on yeah, that. Yeah, no. You got to get real close. I didn't even see that. Real, real close to and see that. And that's really interesting because there's, in our, in, like when you're talking about the reference to the elders, um, are the matriarchs in our family who have actually been present and holding us together since before I was born. Right. Um, you know, I didn't meet my maternal grandmother, but my oldest aunt, Aunt Juanita, who just passed this year, um, she channeled that grandmother energy. She did. And a lot of times when we have family reunions or when we get together as a family, it's the masculine energy, the men in the family who take up the most space mm-hmm. and kind of try and mm-hmm. be visible, mm-hmm. you know, whereas it's it's the the femme energy that has sort of held everything together, you know. Been the guardian. Been the guardian, been the grandmother, been the aunt, been the mother, been the sister, been a whole village. Yeah, come on. In one person. Come on. And they're unseen. Yeah. And that's what I felt with this one. I I painted it with, um, it was two sessions. This one here was just one session, just everything, you know. Mm -hmm. But that one, I, I struggled with it. And, you know, just getting it. But the second time I addressed it, mm-hmm. it was a two-day session. The second time it, I, it, it landed and I was like, that, that's it. I'm walking away. Mm-hmm. You know, and just seeing that, that kind of like sadistic celebration of black <laughs> male, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that, a very narrow yes. celebration of and your tra- masculine energy. Yes, and you're power. trying to sort through that. Mm-hmm. And there's so many things like the little, I don't know if you can see the little martini glass. Right in the shark's fin, it's a little. Well, you can, you can probably see it. It's Maybe like, if I turn around. Right, right. So, just right, right there. Oh yeah. Just that the using a little bit of symbols. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, I didn't notice that right away. I was captivated by the the body mm-hmm. and the, the the face in the body. Yeah. <laughs> And then, as much as I like bulldogs and bears, uh, that that that's that that surveillance, that that gaze, mm-hmm. the gaze that we talk about, you know, and it gets in it gets in us where we're worried about what what people are yeah. seeing and what they're gonna and then we start do with what they're feeling yeah. about what they see. <laughs> yeah, 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 and we start pivoting and doing all kind of foolishness, you know, to, contorting. Yeah, there's no need for that. Um, so yeah, that's breathing while black, and then. Um, then the complicated future, you know, I've been asking you some of the conversations is what is the future for black people? What, it, what, it, what does that look like for us? And, mm-hmm. and it's been kind of a long conversation. And I would feel, I feel like it kind of stems back to you predicting this time now. What, two years? It was like, probably, it was probably 2017. It was 2017, yeah. yeah. And I was in the Ontario airport in the you know in the queue mm-hmm. and we were talking mm-hmm. and just now i'm asking the question now that we now that we whether we can accept it or not now that we know that this com- country is deeply racist <laughs> yeah. now that now that we've said it loud enough now that a few buildings have burned down mm-hmm. now that a few people have died how do we live our life how do, how do we protect ourselves and, and give self-care as black people and when the shit ain't fixed yet? Uh, mommy may be watching. <laughs> Sorry, Mommy. Sorry. <laughs> it might, it might she be. didn't raise us that way. <laughs> um, so uh, how, now that we know, mm-hmm. how, and, and, and you have white folks that are woke, and mm-hmm. how to, how to, now that they know the financial gap between white and black, how do they live? How do we live? Not, you know, I don't, and I'm I don't, not asking you to answer. Yeah, that. yeah. I mean, I have some ideas. Come on. They might not be very popular. I don't know if I should really say them out loud, but um, uh, 
whatever the spirit moves. You know I, I, I don't. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna speak on what white people should do. Um, right. I don't have energy for that at this moment. Right. But I can say that I feel like I have a deep desire for for black people to take care of themselves. Mm. Um, and I feel like we've been shouting long enough and loud enough mm-hmm. that maybe someone else should start shouting and mm-hmm. making other actions mm-hmm. while we figure out self-care, figure out so- sovereignty, mm-hmm. figure out um, how to transmute the trauma we are uh, constantly experiencing yeah. and the re-traumatizing like when the media, you know, is showing black bodies being violated over and over again, that re-traumatizes and re-triggers not only stuff in our personal life that we've lived through, but stuff our ancestors have lived yeah. through that's in our DNA. And we don't even know, you know, what it is, but our bodies respond to it when we see the trauma regurgitated over and over. Yeah. So I feel like in order for us to live, we need to start cleaning out debris in our lives, Mm -hmm. focusing on our own healing and our own sovereignty such that we have community, that we have something to offer each other. Yeah. Because it's been made clear that there hasn't been much on offer for us. Yeah. Yeah. It it, it was something you said, like the re-triggering. I find it so awkward. Because this town is, they're so riding hard with Black Lives Matter. And then, and it's, I, I just don't, some days I wake up and I'm like, I don't know if I'm ready. I, you know, I don't have the energy. You know what I mean? I'm like, you're, I, I appreciate that you're on it, but I'm like. I just, you don't need to be engaged Yeah, in yeah. It. And just finding yeah. out that new, that, you know what I mean? That new, how you walk. Like what the boundaries are? Yeah. And and just how to be. Like, you know, it's like how how, how much, you know, Energy, do you, I don't know. It's just awkward. Yeah, right? it's it's awkward, definitely. Yeah, and and, um, and you're it's like, it's a good. I think we need the awkward to get past awkward. Mm-hmm. Come on. Um, because we're all here. Mm-hmm. Right. You right. know, right. we're all right. here, and we need to all continue to be here. So the awkward has to be moved through. It yeah. can't be avoided, and and yeah, it can't be yeah. avoided. And that's that's the conclusion I came to, like, in this summer was that like, people that are, on, I wouldn't say on the opposite spiritual spectrum of me, mm-hmm. are not going anywhere, and we're not going anywhere, as in we're inhabiting this space. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. And just to how 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 to navigate that? How does that work? What does unity look like? Right. And I was not ready for any words like unity for a minute. I know. <laughs> I know. It's I'm like. I'd rather be angry. Right. It, it, it feels better to be angry. It feels safer. It, to felt, be angry. it felt real good for me. It feels good. It feels safer to be angry. Yeah. But it's like unity has to, has to be reached right. in order for the evolution. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There, these, I was thinking of these sculptures, and I wanted to mention, I've been trying to articulate it. Mm-hmm. And I don't quite understand. Like, there's. I felt like with our family, there, there, in, in elder, certain elders were kind of forced together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we're connected, and we got to figure that relationship out. <laughs> Did I touch a spot? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. That's just what I'm working through. I understand. I understand. I understand. <laughs> and, um, and you see, there's some there's some screws and mm-hmm. adhesive. It's, it's it's forcing the the relationship. Yeah, I I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I just you know I just as we sort through this. I know? respect my elders. Yeah, I, I do too. I have deep respect I mean, for them. Um, yes, I I understand that too. I just I mean. <laughs> Am I starting to? <laughs> you don't uh, have to respond. To yeah, anything. yeah, I know, I know, <laughs> but I want the conversation to go forward. Yeah, you know, yeah. not just with us here, but yeah. like in our community, in our family, in our in our lives, we need the conversation to go forward. So I think I hear you saying, 
<laughs> that the relationship with our elders, it can be like if they have stuff they haven't healed yet, like there could be some shadow, some some toxicity. Right. And there's an expectation of respect and deference and right. acquiescence. And we rest on them. Absolutely. Right? Yes. And that we can't help that. Mm -mm. But we, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. That's just, mm -mm. as I. We're, we're all the same DNA. I think we just have to get used to it, mm -hmm. you know, and also get better at setting our boundaries when we need to. Mm -hmm. I feel like I didn't and know. And honoring that we're resting on something, you yeah, know, that we yeah. aren't, we didn't do this all on our own. We come right. from somewhere. Somebody else struggled. Yeah. I, and I think of, it's two things when you say someone else struggled. I think of Michael Hofka, who I mention quite a bit to mm -hmm. everybody that I talk to. They're probably tired of me talking about him. Mm. But I'm just like, he was just this artist that... I don't have to talk to you. Right? <laughs> he was this artist that, thank you. He was this artist that really, he just said a phrase that we, we didn't start here. Mm -hmm. And it really started sitting with me right as me and you, I think we're talking about transgenerational memory, mm -hmm. trauma, reality. And so I'm just way more aware of this, that I'm in, in that there was something before me that, mm -hmm. and I'm continuing something and. You're the evolution yeah, of, yeah, of things yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. were started. Like, yeah. I think about, like, often I, when I'm speaking to usually a queer black person or a black person who I love, respect, and value, I say something to the effect of, you know, I'm grateful that your ancestors continue to breathe so that you could exist here with me. Yeah. And the same for my ancestors. Like, I'm so grateful. I don't know how. Right they uh, continue to breathe through what they survived, but I'm so grateful that they did so that you could be here. Yeah, when we think of, the second thing was Alyssa Mothershed. Mm -hmm. And just, I know there was other ancestors. Mm -hmm. That's a name we got though. Yeah. yeah, and when I first heard that name Mothershed, I was like, oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's the business right there. Yeah. I saw an album cover, I was going, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is years ago, and, I, and then now, kind of looping back to it, mm -hmm. and just, I. I I feel it in my body. How? <laughs> how do you? I, I, I wanted. I wanted to curse. I was like, <laughs> how do you be enslaved for a hundred years? How do you do that? I've been asking myself that, yeah. like, all this year. It's and, in our DNA. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> we're living with that legacy mm -hmm. in every cell. Yeah. Right and, now. Yeah. And that 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 that, that kind of that throws me. You know what I mean? I'm like, what? What? Yeah. And then then I think if you would die in slavery, okay. But when you're set free after a hundred years, mm -hmm. then how do you do that? Yeah. How do you sit there and go? Oh, I okay, can only imagine on. she had some kind of way to transmit the trauma. Yeah. She had some tool, yes. something, you yes. know, that she was transmitting the trauma with. Yeah. That's what I can right. take from just the fact that we're here and breathing. That's what I, that you had the right word. I kept, I didn't know what it was. I kept thinking, okay, there's, there's something that got her up in the morning mm -hmm. and got her through her, like that morning mm -hmm. part, like getting up yep. every morning, like mm -hmm. that part. Yeah. I, I've had, you know, months at a time where I couldn't do that part. Right. <laughs> and right. I didn't live, right. I didn't live with, with what right. she was living with. So right. like, she had something. Right, and that's when I think about those those low moments that mm -hmm. we've talked about, where when you're trying to get your head off the pillow, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I'm gonna check time. How, do, is anybody checking time at all? Are we, are we okay? <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Um, do we want to see if there's any questions or anything? Or sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So we can interact. We can interact. I don't know who's online. If anybody's watching, if uh, if um, but if there is questions, we can, oh, no questions. Okay, well, that's fine. That's all right. Um, maybe if there's any questions in the room or things you're thinking about, we can, we can talk about that, and then we can do a song, and there's no, like, no, yeah. well, we're good. And we can call it, even after that. Mm. And it's okay if it's not. <laughs> Hey, how are you? Welcome, man.
Mm. Oh, like like singing? Mm. Any, any kind of oh, way. Um, I like that question. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, James. Um, th we've collaborated in music for 30, 30 years, right? I don't know how long that yeah. is. I feel like I'm Ooh. only 35 and we started singing when I was... Yeah, see, I'll be putting it before you were born. Nine? Before. Yeah. So we Tw first started singing together when I was nine years old. And you're how many years? Six uh, years old? I'm 41. <sighs> Whatever that is. Six years older than me. So I don't know how many years that is. I can't do math in my head, but um, <laughs> I don't know why I did that to myself on camera. But anyway. <laughs> That's the story of my life. <laughs> um, yeah, we started trying when, when I was nine, our, all of our siblings together. And it's been a, I, I feel like Travis encouraged me to sing for the first time when I really started to sing like as a soloist. Um, it was Travis who was like, yeah, you're doing good. Keep going. You know, yeah. Just I try that? it. <laughs> yes. Okay. I don't remember. Yes. No, you were super nurturing and super oh, encouraging. Even when I was terrible, like you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. Yeah, yeah, you got it, you know? Um, so I, I thought I could sing before I could sing because of Travis. And I would say that my art, I'm a pain, painter also. Um, I didn't paint any of these images behind us, but I started drawing because Travis was drawing. As my older brother, I would see him scribbling on paper everywhere, making these little characters. Um, and... And I wanted to be like him. He was my big brother. Mm. And so I got a little paper out and started scribbling too. Uh, and I've developed my own style. So that's, that's a sort of yeah. collaboration. Yeah. And, and you talk a lot, James, about, I think we were, had a conversation, a brief conversation down by the water where you're like, let's collaborate. And I was like, yeah, man, let's do this. So I haven't done a lot. And I, that, that is encouraging, um, I feel like, to me, for us to do a collaboration her, you, what, I was going to ask you, what medium are you working with now? Because I know you were doing, and, and Alilia's paintings are, let me give your website. If, mm -hmm. what, what is, Flowersofmysoul.com. Flowersofmysoul.com. Her, she does all kind of stuff, and her paintings are, bleh, you know, phenomenal. You, you had Thank something you. for Yes, yes. Let's um, let's if we can bring up. Let's bring up um, the first. Okay, Bob. So this this is a pencil, like graphite pencil and color pencil drawing of Bob Marley, and then the eyes were done in ink, um, and. This was done in like 2018, and it was really, to me, capturing the archetype and the spirit of Bob Marley. Um, and it was, it was really challenging to catch the right picture. And you're working from a picture and trying to get his bone structure when you're doing a portrait, trying to get his high cheekbones and his, his lips and his nose and his nostrils and the way his... Um, the way his face, but wrink, his eyes, his eyebrows wrinkle. And so I was looking at quite a bit of reference pictures, which is funny because there is a reference picture that is pretty much this picture here, but I looked at multiple pictures at him at different ages of his life, um, trying to capture just his essence. And as you know as well, you do a lot of portraits. I think you mm -hmm. do more portraits. I do quite, portrait mostly. Yeah. yeah, quite a bit more than, than what I've been doing mm -hmm. for, you know. And just we always talk about that, trying to catch mm -hmm. the essence. Of the person. Yeah. Like, how do you show them all? You can't, yeah. but you try. Yeah, and so if we can go to the next uh, slide, whatever one's in the deck, because I wanted to put together. So this is B.B. King and Lucille. Um, can we go back one? Yeah, let's go back one. This is um, this is acrylic on canvas. It's, it's uh, BB King and Lucille, and this is this. I was very happy with this with this painting, uh, 
and just ca and I wanted to capture a very soft background. I used a I, I used some really soft yellow. It really is like a Naples yellow, and um, just kind of like a sky blue, and then put a little bit of yellow, a uh, little bit of mixing, and probably some titanium white. And then I wanted to bring bring down uh, to his jacket. I wanted to get really dark and heavy, that real matte black, and kind of a Mars black is what I used on that. And then. There's a lot of red tones in there, and then his face is uh, just really Naples yellow and red and some pink, and maybe another shade of yellow, maybe like a golden uh, on his cheek there. Um, and then Lucille is, I'm pretty sure that's a Mars black, what, Lu what Lucille is painted with there. And, um, and then the titanium white. You take the, for me, the Mars black, the titanium white, and then that soft yellow, it gives a nice balance. I was happy with the balance of that painting. Um, and then if we can move to Jimmy. Jimmy, I believe I was working with that at the same time that I did Bob's portrait. And this is pencil, charcoal, color pencil, and gel pen. And this is, um, this was really challenging too, again, to get his cheekbones right. One eye is lower, but I was happy with, with the essence, again, the essence of capturing Jimmy and the ghost of Jimmy, really, as me and Rebecca had kind of sorted out and had a great conversation about capturing the ghost of these archetypes. Um, uh, and then if we can... Let's go to the next one. There may be we may be getting into the one of the the uh, this show, the pieces of this show. Yeah. So here's breathing while black. Breathing while black is the uh, cadmium red, and uh, is, is the kind of the dominant color. And then the black, the shark, the lines those are spray paint, and his teeth were actually yellow spray paint. Um, and then behind that was a, a initial painting of. Uh, kind of a self-portrait, if you will, and that was acrylic, and um, I, and I didn't really think of, I don't really think so much about a style, um, or I just kind of go with I'm going with like what I'm feeling, what something looks like. The sharks keep showing up. I keep doing these sharks in, in all my paintings here. Um, they, they that's been like 2020 is just sharks, sharks and bunnies, and I, I can't get out of it, so I'm stuck in that vortex. Um, but this is a very, this is a special this is a special piece for me, and then um, let's move to complicated future. And this was done in one setting. It was just in the middle of the day. We just busted out on the back deck, and this I think really celebrates my attachment to Prussian blue, Mars black, and so the the kind of the trim around the image is just Mars black and uh, Prussian blue. And then the yellow in the lower left-hand corner is primary yellow. And um, spray paint, that is spray paint. And then the hot fluorescent pink keeps coming through. I, I've been really drawn to that since Catherine Bradford. I saw her, I don't think I've ever showed you her work, but she really was working with the fluorescent pink and the Prussian blue and just mm. seeing them pool against each other and using them for skin tone. So I've been doing that with a Naples yellow gotcha. and, and then a primary yellow and then a yellow ochre mm -hmm. and then um, a cadmium blue and then the golden. You see the kind of the image. It's a couple of faces in there going mm -hmm. different ways, mm -hmm. but the, face, the eye there that you can kind of see in mm -hmm. the nose, that's all golden, this golden, like you don't really see the pigment, the gold come out until you um, mix it with a little bit of white and then it really mm. comes out strong. Um, and then what do we have next? Do we have the, um, the next slide? Okay, so the children. So again, this is, uh, sculptures are wood. These are wood chunks that sat in my garage for about a year and I was working with the rocks first on the top and I was, just gluing the rocks together, spray painting them, putting them in shells, and I thought that the piece was about the rocks. And 
I was thinking about Family Stone and thinking about the ancestors. And then I said, I need to put these rocks on something. And I started doing research on adhesives and industrial adhesives. And I called Neil because he you know, yeah. works with, uh, with tile, stone, and, tile stone. and marble. Yeah. And we had a session on just how to get these to stick together yeah. and what I needed to do. And so <clears throat> this particular one, the pink is spray painted pink. And that's, that's all wood. The tip top there is black stone and shell. And then the blue, like uh, not quite halfway down to the white, is so is painted acrylic blue and acrylic medium, and then some splashing, and then the, there's like kind of a black stream that comes mm -hmm. down. And this really was like, to me, felt like the ch like the children. Um, and I had a different title for it, totally different title. I backed away from the title. I got a little scared. <laughs> and then uh, someone gave me clarity, and uh, it's the children. And it's it's the kids that are it's have resolve. Mm -hmm. They they just kind of have that real fuck you type attitude towards the world, mm -hmm. and they're like, no, this is this shit needs to change. Yeah, and that is them, you know, just showing up in all their fullness with a connection to the ans the elders and the ancestors. Yeah, they're they're. I feel like they're really trying to evolve some of that trauma, transmute some of that trauma. Yeah. They're like, no, let's, let's do, we're doing it now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're not, they're not, they're not waiting for the by and by. Mm -mm. They're not waiting for, you know, when you're old enough. They're mm -hmm. like, no, no, right now. Mm -hmm. No, nah, this is wrong right now. And I love it. It's very inspiring. Yeah. And attending several marches and just having conversations, I'm realizing like, Oh, I, I realized my role. You know, I'm like, okay, all right. Let me just support. You got that energy. <laughs> Let me fund this out. Let's figure out how to do this, you know. Not a spring chicken. Yeah, anymore. yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not I'm not running them dirt roads no more. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let, let's go ahead and go to the uh elder the elder um elder to ancestors. And these, yeah, just really on the material side, just playing with the matte black and the glossy black. Mm -hmm. And first I thought it needed to be glossy black. Mm -hmm. And then I found some matte black and was like, oh. And now I have visions of matte black pieces, like mm. big scale, like, I'm like, I get what, I get matte black. I get mm -hmm. it. It's a whole, it's, it's, there's a reason why people are attracted to it. Mm -hmm. And this, this one chunk right here was that kind of sideways where, this is all a tree trunk, initially, mm -hmm. both, uh, all of them, mm -hmm. one tree. And I thought that was kind of indicative, I don't know if that's the right word, um, of just the chopping up and the tearing apart and then putting it right back together. Mm -hmm. And it's the same family and, and that forcing note together that yeah. we were talking about earlier. So I feel like there's, I also see some like reminiscence or um, pointing to like the DNA mm. strand. Mm -hmm. like. I think it's there, definitely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that there's a little bit of that a, twirl mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm. that all the images I yeah. see have. <laughs> and, I, and I, you know, I think of how Daddy died. And I think mm. of how Alyssa Mothershed died, and mm. some of these are burned. Yeah. Know? Yeah. There, 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 there's bubbles and 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 um, trauma to them. You know what I mean? But then there's beauty. I feel yes. like, and there's this kind of just stacking of that understanding, you know, and then embracing of scars. Yep. 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 And then we're seeing kind of for this, you know, is what the world sees, <laughs> but under all this is, is what it really is, is about. And the world may only get that and they'll may get some, them. some bright pink and some yellow. Yeah, and they're yeah. like, Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. But there's a whole lot more. You know, um, and it's all beautiful, but yeah, I feel like the the rest is rejected. Like I had a conversation with Aaron. Um, I don't know how much I can side this realize. <laughs> you got comfortable. <laughs> I got real comfortable. I was like, well, <laughs> what happened was <laughs> yes. What we were talking about basically somebody <laughs> fetishizing the ability to survive the resourcefulness, mm -hmm. the resilience, mm -hmm. but not having any room for the trauma yeah. of 
that like the unhealed trauma from all of that resilience and surviving, you yeah. know, and not having room for it. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah, only wanting a piece. Like this, only wanting. Yeah. yeah this week. I, I feel like that. Yeah. No, that was well said. Yeah. <laughs> Kept everybody anonymous. Yeah, yeah. Kept everybody safe. Everybody all right, cool. All right, all right. Everybody can carry on. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think I think that's all the slides, right? That we had. Cool. Um, are you ready to do? Do we have something over here? No? Okay. Thought I saw something. Do you want to do some singing? Yes. Okay. I hope this is not too loud as I was fiddling with it. something before fragments? I feel like fragments is the last thing I want to do. Okay, so. let's do, you want to do some improv? Some tonal stuff? Some... Yes. Okay. You want me to start or you want yes, to start? Yes, I okay. want sure. you to start. Yeah, we, what's that? Give it a loop. Okay. Da, 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 Yeah. Yeah. 
each and every one that is in here, um, and James making it all the way down, and Rachel, thank you, love the jacket, and Miss Maya, thank you, Angelina, Rebecca, and I want to give special thanks to um, Maya, Sean, Barnes, Nicole, Kellen, Kellen initially... Um, help me cut all these up, the start, because I didn't have the saws that I needed, um, or the, uh, I didn't have anything. And then, so I ended up buying it through the process. So I just want to give a special thanks to that. Also, a special thanks to Mama T for, I think I said that before, but I think it's so important what she did for this community, this community of artists and this city and for me, uh, introducing us to ourselves. And that's something that elders do, and that's something that 
elders have done in my life, my entire life, is they give you a sense of identity. They introduce you to your cousin. They say, oh, that's your cousin right there. This, you, that's your cousin right there. And that's what she did in this gentle way and brought all of these artists together. And we've been having some dialogues and discussions uh, outside of uh, our initial um, reception and really looking at what is the next step, what is moving forward, what does that look like? And I feel like if I said this to Aisha, and I think she had re reiterated it, and a couple other people, it really resonated with them that if just us getting together and doing this show is kind of the, is the, is all that is done, that's a little bit of a waste of an opportunity. And that we have an opportunity here to do uh, more shows, to do more exhibits and to, to support each other in a way that probably has not been done before. And during these times where we're being held captive by results or the lack of results, I think it's important to stay in our bodies and important to see ourselves in a destiny, in a cosmic level, to not see ourselves as just humans leaning on power to define how we feel each day but us understanding that we didn't start here, that we started before we, with ancestors and that we're not gonna end here. It's gonna move forward and that is not the end all and be all of our power. And that is not the end all and be all, end all and be all of who we are and who we are to each other. And that's, that's been uh, really coming to the surface for me, being a part of this, the future is rising and understanding this work understanding each artist and what they're saying and the narratives that have been bypassed for so long but now have been given a space. So I think we're all very grateful and wanted to continue and move forward in the appropriate manner, appropriate to what the narratives that are being presented here are. Uh, we want to honor that um, as artists and, you know, honoring it first for ourselves. So. Um, while I'm waiting for my sister to come back, I think I may do a song and then she'll end with a song and we'll, we'll, we'll call it. So we'll see what comes up here. <sighs> Where there is a river, you will find my soul. Where the river begins, I will go. Where the river ends, you will find my soul. Black water may be painful, but let it make your soul be a little bit more thankful. Humility is so hard to find in these, in these trying times. Oh, oh, oh. where the river begins, you will find my soul. Where the river is, oh man, oh woman, oh babies, we'll go. Mm -hmm. We feel this space.
There are sweet expressions on each face, and I know that it's the art that is in this room. Mm. I feel like uh, there's a sweet, sweet spirit here with the work and the offering that is being presented. And I'm blessed to mm. be in its presence mm, and good. to know that, um, you know, yeah. we out here. Yeah. We, <laughs> out, we out here in Olympia. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the labor, the emotional, the spiritual labor, just coming all the way up here, leaving your little habitat of squirrels and rabbits in the backyard and my garden, and your garden and terrace sanctuary. Thank you. Yes. Thank You're you. Welcome. Coming up here to do this, do what we do. It is a gift to be in the presence of my siblings. Yeah. Um, we are a constellation. Yep. Uh, each of us orbiting around each other, um, helping each other grow and evolve and meet challenges and heal. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, as long as we can be safe and healthy with each other, I'm here. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yep, I think that should be said. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
So we want to thank you both for being here at this pivot point between doorways and between ways of being and seeing and learning and doing and expressing and for being portals for bringing through art, creativity, power, ancestors, and opening the door to the future, the wisdom, the knowledge that you bring here to all of us and that this exhibit brings with all the eyes and the ears that are watching and coming through this portal. For th thank you for making this portal visible to all of us and for bringing us into this place and this space with song, with story, and to all of those who contributed to making this place alive for this time and for the future and in honor of the ancestors who stand behind us. Thank you. Okay. You guys want to sing another song? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Can you give people a link to your uh, website, your yes. um, online gallery, and also to your video blog, um, Let the Paint Dry? Yes. And yes. Um, also, Alilia, to have a link to your site as well would be a really wonderful thing for people to, to see more, because there's so much work that you both are bringing into the world. Very. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that reminder. I get so caught up in the moment. This is <laughs> such a spiritual outpouring for us and for me, and it means a lot of things that I don't even understand, so I forget to do the business side, which is to uh, <laughs> the website. The website is travisjohnsonart.squarespace.com, and there's art there for sale and gallery. Uh, there's a gallery page. And then um, tra I think it's Travis Johnson Artists. Oh, shoot. Travis, I almost got to look it up. Uh, the Facebook page, you do have to add me as a friend, and then I invite you to the page. Um, but it's Travis Johnson Art Studios Northwest. And it's a private group, um, and I just, it's art and all things art and music. And I like to have that for people that are of the mindset and that want to be a part of it um, and to be on that page. And then my uh, YouTube channel is just Travis Johnson, but all the titles are Let the Paint Dry, and that's a video blog, podcast. Some of them are just podcasts that I, that I do. I think I have a nice group of maybe 30 or so up on, uh, on YouTube. So, um, yeah, all that's out there available. Um, the podcasts are free, and just me riffing and singing and working through this work and working through kind of where I'm at from a week-to-week -week basis emotionally and mentally uh, creating. So thank you for that reminder, Rebecca. Yes. Uh, and my website is flowersofmysoul.com. And I have, there's a, there's a few images of my paintings on there and you can buy products with my images on them through that website as well. And also there are, there's a place where you can donate if you want to support me recording my music uh, to spread and do the work also. Yes. You want to do it? Yeah. yeah let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> this song is born out of um, grief, um, born out of meditations on intergenerational trauma and the ways that I experience memories, body sensations, uh, you know, trauma, trauma responses to things that this body, in my, to my knowledge, has never experienced. But I experienced them uh, the the body sensations and the memories of my ancestors, <clears throat> and uh, 
and this song came through all at all in one 15 minute intense session and I was like whoa what is this <laughs> and so here it is I've got these fragments of a memory And I'm not sure how old it might be I've got these fragments of a memory It's warm, it's cold, it's white, it's blue. A touch on my head was there you? A touch on my head was there you?
and I'm not sure how old it might be. Thank you very much. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think the rafters vibrated too with that. <laughs> that was beautiful. Um, thank you, Travis. Thank you, Olivia, and thank you everybody for watching and everybody that was here too. So we'll see you November nineteenth. Perfect. Great. Thank you. <laughs>